Hi everybody, this is another video I'm doing for you guys. Let me get this. It's an upgrade. And also I'm gonna be talking to you about Make Sky Blue. The controller that I'm using actually. Okay. First, let me tell you about how, how I line up the panels. I have those two panels, it's about eight panels. Okay. Eight panels. This what I did, I take those two panels, put them on series. So that's upgrade the voltage. It's about 45 and uh, I think 38 open voltage. I mean close voltage. So it should be here on 70s and such and such. And I put the other two. They're both producing eight. They each panel is 8.4 amp. So if you put them on series, you get the same voltage, the same amperage, the voltage goes up. So I had this one the same way and merge them in parallel here. Okay, I put the wires together, I put them in parallel. And do you remember this is on stage mode? Um, I mean test mode. So uh, when I'm done, I'll show you the, an update on those panels and update on everything I'm doing. Right now I'm on, st I'm, I'm, I'm on stage mode. Now those four panels, I had them two in series, the other two in series, and I merged them in parallel. That's that's up up the the amperage. So another way is those four panels co combined together should be able to produce 16 amp. Okay, I did the exact same thing in this. Also, they both should they over the both those two in parallel in series. The other two in series, I merge them down there in parallel. I bring them all of them to one wire. This wire can produce 30 amps. I don't think this thing can go uh, I barely see it around 30 amp. Okay? This can produce 30 amp. The wire. But this is temporarily. Okay? When my body is always fully charged, so usually and when my BMS or my regulator or controller turn it off. Okay. So now the reason I upgrade this thing, first of all, I was testing this. I noticed that my house burning at least 15, 10 to 15 amps on a daily basis, 15 amps per hour. So if I'm burning to 15 amps, I'm producing 15 amps. At night time, I got nothing to use. So I have tested the battery several times. I have tested the battery several times. What I noticed that if I turn the, turn the light, turn everything on, at night time around 8, 8, 8 p.m. my battery gave me 12 hours I have another, another video to show you guys what's happening with my system there so I do get the 12 hours I do get 12 hours to, I can say 15 hours of of power without even charging anything but if I start in the morning with 52 I need to I need to fold the battery up in the daytime but most of the time it's very it's very cloudy okay so it's very difficult to have four panels to give you enough juice so now i need some more juice in the daytime so that's why i add those four panels those four panels can give me the other 15 that i can i can use to charge the battery so this this four give me fifteen. This four give me fifteen, but not all the time. But from time to time, it give me fifteen. And I'm using I'm using um, fifteen in the house. So I think I got fifteen going back to storage. But sometimes during the day, I need to put you small. So I probably may put some more panels right there by on the by, by the fence. I may put some more back there also because I need more more juice right now this can run because I'm gonna have this machine running so so let me show you how this, this machine is about 24 amp so at this we're gonna get at least 30 amp I need to produce 30 amp at all the time for me to use my my my, my to, to, to get the off grid right now I'm gonna show you what I have going on we can see what goes on in your panels you can see what goes on in your in your battery pack it's always good to have a way you can read what goes on on your system so that's what that's what you get the bluetooth coming and i'm going to go inside to show you the equipment that i have i have bluetooth 
uh, Bluetooth for the panels, Bluetooth for the for the batteries. All right, guys, this is Mix Sky Blue. Let's talk about Mix Sky Blue for a minute. Let me try to bring the other phone and see if I can get it. This is that will make much better. This is one. I don't have to switch screen. Okay, guys, first. This is my Mix Sky Blue. The regulator or controller called Mix Sky Blue, and it's showing me what goes on right now. Okay. And then if you look at those numbers, 27, 20 plus 27, they're close to each other. It's about 28 amps I'm getting. But the, the panels, it's the Mix Sky Blue showing 26.6. I think this is supposed to be movable. I've got to go to the garage and see if it can move better. So before I go to the garage, I want you to look at those numbers. Eight now he's dropping to 18. And the other one dropping to four. But every time the sun moves, it moves. It based on the sun. Now regarding the mix sky blue, what is do what they the software are supposed to up bring this thing higher. That's that's the whole purpose. Because right now I'm not producing that much because they're very close to each other. I want to bring this thing at least three panels or four panels combined together. Okay, according to this, that's their instruction. Okay, according to the instruction, I can bring a hundred and can bring 160 volt. I'll be perfect if I can bring 150 volts, so my wires will be perfect. So. Right now I have to change the wires. I didn't want to change the wires. If you see the number drop, it's just because the sun is just, there's, the panel has some cloud on it. Okay, so let's stay with the instruction they're giving you there. Maximum memory, 28. Right now I have 24. Okay, I have 24 and yeah, I have 24, so I can put a couple more panels to the regulator, but I would not do that. I would probably change a different regulator because I don't want to bring the wires. The wire has to be a lot heavier because I have them in series and in parallel, but according to these notes here, I can put 48 volt. In the 48 volt battery system, I can put 72 to 100, 160. It doesn't allow me to pass 72. Then I put three panel, which is a 45 open voltage, 45 volt. That would be about 120. They give me an error. It doesn't charge. It doesn't like it. If I put two, all four of them together, it doesn't like it. I have if lower panels somewhere else, and I try to do the same thing. But if you put them, a lot of them on say on parallel, you put them two on series. And the rest of them, you put two in series and in parallel, you combine them. You can't go over 72 or, or you can't put no more than two panels in series. Look at this, this is jumping. Okay, you gotta, I'm producing enough power here. Let me see what this thing says. Look like this is not going any higher. Probably because I'm far away from from the Bluetooth. So what I was saying to you guys, this the the little machine works because I had to put, I put a positive and then they got even the same. How sure we got in a few minutes what I did. This thing still function. Okay, you give me some spark, but it still works. For a couple of days I had him like that by a he was giving some little charge. So technically this this regulator charge controller is not that bad. The charge controller is not that bad, it does its job. But I wish I could have put more panels. And I wish I could have done that, so I couldn't. So it is what it is. No matter how much I try to somebody, I talk to somebody who represent them in US. They couldn't fix it, figure this thing out. So I had a video sent to him. Same thing. All right, guys, let me go to the 
to the garage and show you what I have. Okay guys, I'm in the garage. Let me show you a few things here. This is a uh, mixed sky blue. Okay. It would be nice this screen turn off by itself, but it doesn't. So it is what it is. This is mixed sky blue 60M that I have there. This is how it come in. 60M. With this 10 point 16. Let me show you something guys. Okay, the temperature of this wire is, is a little bit high. Yep, I'm producing too much ink. The in, the, oh, the inside wire, they're different. So I gotta shut this thing down. Before I leave, I'll shut it down. I can't believe it. I just, it's a good thing I came here and touched the wire. This is not 12 gauge. That's what it is. This is not 12 gauge. This is not 12 gauge. The wire is no good. This is why I don't like editing videos. The wire is no good. I gotta shut this thing down after after this video, guys. I can't be producing power. The wire is no good. You see, guys? This is the reason that you got to do the right thing. This wire is no good. I gotta shut after this video i'm gonna shut it out uh, i can't go test mode with those this and then i thought the outside wire let me go show you guys yeah i bet you this is not cold this is not warm why is warm i have a temperature get the gauge let me go get the temperature gauge. okay guys Try and try my best to see the temperature in this thing. Why is not too bad though? 77. But it feels warm in my hand. So automatically, let me show you guys. This is 12 gauge. This is 14 gauge wire. Yep, that's why I told you guys this is test mode. And that's why I don't let it running all the time. So now I have to disconnect uh, one of the panels to the other with the other array disconnect it before I leave because the wire is the wire is warm I can feel it it is warm oh I was explaining to you guys one time I had this wire in this I had both of them on the exact same spot the positive I did it by mistake. I wasn't paying attention. I was, it was unplugged. I plugged it back in, and then it was it wasn't doing anything. It wasn't it wasn't disturbing anything. The only thing I wasn't charging when I realized I wasn't after three days I wasn't charging. Then I decided to check all the wires. When I check all the wires, I realized one thing. Uh, I came back here and I saw all the wires was connected properly. And when I came back, I said, wow, and I remove it, put it on the, put it the black one on the negative, And there you have it. So yeah, I'm producing a lot of amps, 24. That 12 gauge, that, that 14 gauge wire, I can only produce 24 amp, 20, no, no higher than 20. Okay. So I'm at 24. So that's why the wire heat up a little bit. So what I'm going to do, turn it off. There we go. You see the beauty of it, guys? I turn it off. Now I'm not charging anything at all. See? I stop everything. Now I have to unplug that wire. Use a different wire to go through here. Now I know that my regulator, my controller, is working good, so the panel is well set. Yeah, 45 voltage, 45.4. So I stop everything, so I'm about to shut everything down. 
but I like the way the BMS for the Bluetooth for, for the battery pack. All right, folks, this is about this thing. I just it's a good thing I do the video because I was testing mode. I realized my wire is too. My wires is they are too too weak. Not the outside one. The inside one is a lower grade, so I have lower rate, lower lower gauge, so I have to increase it because I'm bring, I'm bringing 30 amps. Because I have seen 30 amps today, and you, you guys with me saw so more than almost close to 30 amps, so I can't have that wire going in there because I'm supposed to have again for the for the regulator for those eight panels is 10 gauge wire I'm gonna have. So I guess later on I probably go get the 10 gauge wire and we do all the stuff there. Now I won't be charging him. Huh? Oh, what I can do, cover it. Cover some of the panels. How about that? Let's do this. Let me cover some of the panels. Okay. I'm back to 18 amps. 18 amps will be fine. 18 amps would have been fine, but when you go and hitting it, 20 amps all the time is a problem. Can I cover some of the panels? Unfortunately, I don't have that much time, guys. I don't have that much time because I got to go play golf. Yeah, I play golf at the end of the week sometimes. All right, guys. So this is what I have. This is the top one. Is BMS one. This is the BMS. This is this is about three and three three kilowatts in here, and this is about seven kilowatt. This is BMS two. Almost of the charge going to it. Okay, most of the charge going to the BMS. So first, I'm showing you guys, let me shut this thing up before I forgot, because I gotta get going. Got it? It's always good when you can do that with your software. It's always good. And always have a breaker, if you got, if you got one pack you're working on. Okay. So, I gotta shut this thing up. Well, let's be the end of this video. So the video was about the uh, Mix Sky Blue and the connection, how I do it. And so this is an upgrade. All the battery packs that I have there. This is about 10 kilowatt of batteries. I'm going to have four more kilowatt coming in. Folks, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, I probably changed the wires to this wire. This is a 10 gauge wire. That can produce 40 amps. So I don't think that regular that can 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 produce more than 40 amps. Even though they said 60. I have to add. No, it's impossible. Alright folks. Um thank you guys for all the likes and share. Don't forget to share and subscribe. You're always helping this channel. Talk to you guys soon.